But this is a sign of things to come, I approve. <laughs> right, who's Pocky, who's Rocky? We don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, K is, is, uh, is Rocky, and I'm Pocky. Yeah. There's only one responsibility I have for this whole run, but it's pretty big. So I think anyone who's ever played this game co-op knows what happens if you dash into each other. Bad things. These sound effects sound familiar. It's because it's from Pocky and Rocky. <laughs> <laughs> it's heal on the fly. No, no that's a shield. That's Harps. <laughs> really? Nice. Yeah. So that's that. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Normally a very, very, very bad thing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think now's a good time for roll call. Um, uh, I'm Dragon Dark. I'm Lee. I'm PJ. I'm Rocky. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Mike Richter. Probably can't see me well, but I'm Dan. I'm the uh, Aftermath. This game might be the time. Who's last? Nice. Good train. Skullboy. I'm Branch. Oh, oh, dodged. Come get it. Come get it. Sorry. Talk about X. And, uh, yeah, not the main commentator, but it's BB. So basically, when you do that double dash, the direction, oh, well, yeah, hey, do you want to explain how you aim that? Yeah, so it might seem like it's random, but if Pocky and Rocky strike each other at a 135 degree angle, they'll go in the direction opposite of what Pocky is facing. Yo. I miss it, but it's gonna work out, so. I know that uh, their slide speeds are different. Like, what about their attack power? Same. The, the important difference is that Pocky's got a different charged up attack. Pocky and Rocky have different. No, you got it. Okay. Pocky and Rocky have different charged up attacks, and their bombs do different damage, as we will see very shortly, in fact. It is good. Get out of here, monkey. <laughs> so you have to kill those harpies before the boss will appear. So when you're doing a two-player run, a critical thing to do is to sit around. But the reason why you sit around is actually to reduce lag. Lag happens when the game can't quite keep up with all the stuff that's happening, so it actually slows down the action so that it can actually follow along and keep up. And so your goal is to reduce lag as much as possible, which for me involves that. Not doing anything. Oh, get it. <coughs> That's nothing compared to what's gonna happen. <laughs> no. Are the sides cut off? Yeah. Oh, good. Okay. We got, got it. it. Yes! <laughs> Go! Wow. That's actually really impressive. Thank you. Now, I noticed that, uh, Pocky's going straight fire, and then Rocky's going straight power. Is that just to, like, take into account the, the, the amount of power-ups that are available, or is there a specific reason for that? Um, a little of both. The fire creates a lot of lag, so we don't oh, okay. both want to get fire. In fact, I'm gonna lose fire as soon as I can after this. <coughs> this is an auto-scroll if you want to read off donation comments. Alright, let's see what we got. Thank you, Nasir SRK, for your $10 donation. Support for the awesome PJ. Put this to PJ Running Lagoon. Shouts to IRC FNet Channel Capcom. Thanks, Nasir. 
Thank you, Joel Lamprecht, for the $100 donation. Here's $100 towards the mystery game. It better be awesome. Good luck, PJ and Mr. K. Joel. Five dollars from- thank you very much, Zach Fournette, Fournette for your five dollar donation. Pocky and Rocky the strongest! Give Mr. K and PJ 250 each and make Lee twirl his tie. Now we play baseball. <laughs> Get him! Oh. Yes! <laughs> Come here, crab. Come here. What? I'm batting. I I'm doing pretty well over here. Mr. K just like hit one in the complete opposite direction. I just don't understand. No one oh. can understand Kay's direction. I think I killed something over there. <laughs> oh, really? Got it. <laughs> Disagree. For those of you who haven't played Pocky and Rocky before, it's a really fun game. Um, it's got a nice <laughs> balance <laughs> of <laughs> tickling octopuses. Tickle the octopus. <laughs> <laughs> and also a balance between attacking and defending. So you you can attack things, or you can also wag projectiles and enemy attacks or push away. Push your partner off the raft. Or push people off the raft and crash into each other. Yeah, if you dash, like, dashing is fastest, obviously, and you dash to avoid stuff, but when you're playing co-op, if you dash into your partner, he's gonna be in for a world of pain. Yes. You gotta do it precisely, otherwise, yeah. it's not good. Especially, like, in the, the later levels where there are cliffs that you can fall off, or, like, here with water. If you fall off that, you take, like, three hearts of damage or something. I don't know about the water, the cliffs, I think, are three. And water might be just one. But then you lose a heart from dashing. So if you dash into your partner and he falls off a cliff, you basically just kill him. The way that uh, boss health works in this game is um, when you're playing two players, bosses actually don't have more health. It actually is not better to pound bosses necessarily with as many projectiles as you can. Bosses, each time they get hit, have four frames of invincibility. So that's why it's not necessarily terribly broken to have two players in this game. What actually breaks the game is uh, the dashing mechanic, yeah. as we just saw. We can get through some pretty difficult obstacles just by aiming. And we just go spinning through them looking adorable, and the enemies just stare confused, wondering where we went. A really fun thing about this game is uh, fire, your regular weapon, all of the weapons actually do the same damage. Um, yeah, we've got a couple prizes for this game. Yes! I want to donate. Do you want to let that person roll for a bit? Uh, can I really? Okay. Right. <laughs> we can, we have like three auto-scrollers coming up. Yeah, we do. Okay, Alright, we'll give it just a second. So, going for another dash? Um, I'm gonna collect that, but that's okay. Go ahead. No, go. go. So, yeah, we just like skipping past. <laughs> Okay. Do, do, do. So we do have Don't two. Don't mind us. Don't mind us. Okay, we'll be No bomb. No bomb. No bomb. No bomb. There's a question mark on this album. <laughs> yeah, we'll talk about the album later. Okay, I'll keep the safe with me for mystery now. prize. I'll keep the safe with me. Mystery prize. Yeah, so we've got the... During the lunch break? Yes, so we have a Perler as a prize and also a mystery prize. Yeah. Which you can the, also what's, donate for. Yeah, what's the buy-in? Uh... Five. Yeah, five. Five is good. So it helps a little bit to um, shoot faster because um, 
it's hard to hit bosses in every fourth frame, so the more projectiles you have going, the more likely you are to hit it. So you can do this cool thing called attack canceling. And uh, you basically you see what I'm doing here. And you mash any direction, well, ideally the direction that the boss is in. And uh, it cancels your throwing animation, you can throw again. Oh, it's like in the original Metroid. Bye. Oh, uh, you charge it. Oh, yeah. Uh, you have full, full spread? Yeah, good. Uh, I collect spread here because it reduces the lag. Alright, so do you have five? Spread reduces lag? Yeah, because players split. Well, it, it can kill enemies in a more... Uh, can I actually we can just split into a corner? So I click ten. Okay. Okay, so Raj Red set five from the moon. Uh is the ending of Raj Red. Yeah. Uh we can make it. We can make it. Oh, nice. Lag. Lag is strong. Yeah, this is a really scary section. Because if you dash to try and go quicker, you're going to end up hitting your partner, and then he's going to go off the cliffs, and then he's going to probably punch you in real life. You don't too. So hopefully I'll get it. You'll be able to see um, what really breaks this game are actually bombs. So we'll okay. see that in a second. We're just going to... Oh, no, I get it. I get it. Wow. Like that? Like that. <laughs> <laughs> gotta sweep up after. after <laughs> gotta clean up that mess. And now I'll run. <laughs> <laughs> so this is upcoming the best dash in the game. By far. We didn't even think it was possible. Kay was yelling at me a lot when I wanted to keep trying it. And I cried a little bit. But we finally got over that. And, uh, yeah. We are left with this. Snipe the bridge. Wow. And go past the cloud guy. I'll get ahead of it. Okay. Is that reason? It is not a power. power up. It's the same save, like all of us. No, I'm good. Yeah, the yeah, the lightning guys have a ton of HP and they do big damage. No, it's fine because the screen is scrolling at the same rate still. That dash was by design. It was fun. Yeah. Brush, brush, brush. What? What? Uh, you want to talk a bit about the damage that weapons do? Yeah, so all weapons do the same damage, and that's uh, 16 per. Uh, bombs are amazing and do 200 damage <laughs> per frame. For, for every. <laughs> they, bom if it weren't for bosses and vulnerability periods, bosses bombs would destroy everything. But um, I've been able to get bombs to do up to 1800 damage on bosses, and most bosses in the game have 2048 health. So it's pretty devastating. Thank you, Kevin Bukes, for the $10 donation. Good work there. Have fun till the end. Thank you, Justin Ansimo, for the $10 donation. I love Pocky and Rocky. Amazing choice for the mystery game. You guys are awesome. Also, put this towards Cosmo any percent, as well as my previous donation. Thank you, Kurt Halverson, for the $40 donation. I come for the gaming, I stay for the suits. Stay classy, PJ, <laughs> Mr. K, and well-dressed fellow to the left. Thank you, Mark Nugadov, for the $10 donation. 10 bucks for a great choice for the mystery game. Good luck to Mr. K and PJ. Sequel next thank year? Thank you. And thank you, Leonard Toy, for the $10 donation. Why are Lee and Mr. K so dressed up? Are they getting married to Metal Morph? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> 
That's the mystery prize. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's illegal in most states. But this isn't one of them. <laughs> Anyways, put this money towards Die Hard. Also, I'm hoping I can see some Heavy Nova at the next marathon. No. No. Oh, yes. no. Heavy Nova for life. <laughs> Heavy Nova is the only other game that I would consider as being the worst game of all time. Right next to Metal War. I'm not sure which one wins or loses. Thank you, Charles game. Yoshimura, for the $5 else. donation. Gotta get me that mystery prize. Please put this five dollars to the box's best Final Fantasy. All hail the box. Thank you, George Vilches, for the ten dollar donation. I don't think you could top color dinosaur, and yet here we are. <laughs> Thank you, Robert Evans Pritchard, for the ten dollar donation. I had to go try and work out a solo parking in Rocky Speedrun a while back. Great to see it co opt. PJ, Mr. K, you rock. In for either of those great prizes. Thank you, Cyberbot X, for the $10 donation. Because Pocky and Rocky, it's a no brainer. Put this towards seeing Want You Gone for Portal 2. So, uh, you can kind of sweep the floor a bit. Comes in handy in a few places. Thank you, Warren Howarth, for the $5 donation. Never seen this game before, and I really love it. Now I want to play co op on an emulator with some friends. Thanks for the great mystery game. Put me down for that prize. Yeah. Um, if you play this game co op normally, do don't play it with a friend, play it with a stranger. You get it. No, I don't need it. No, I have actually played with friends in the past, and it is very fun. Yeah, it's very fun. As long as you don't dash, it's fun. Yeah. <laughs> so, um... Um... Yeah. I'll... I'll bomb. No, I'll... I'll stress. Yeah. yeah. Alright. Because I have an extra room. Yeah, you do. Come get it. Push the ship! Go! <laughs> Faster! <laughs> Yeah, I wanted to go down there, though. <laughs> <laughs> stage 5 is arguably the hardest stage in the game. Yeah, it's pretty rough. But, we have some dashes to make it easier. About 50. Yeah, I think Thank you, Shane Hill, for the $10 donation. This Pocky and Rocky game looks super fun. Thank you, Mr. Okay. PJ, for showing it off. Yes. Guys. Go! This... go. Uh... Yes! Yeah. <laughs> Put this $10 toward blindfolded door time skip. Thank you, Emilio Pizzetto, for the $5 donation. Hey, guys. Fifth and not last donation. Keep up the good work and be gentlemen. Let the ladies sit on the comfy couch. Yeah. Alright, yeah. so this is gonna be an interesting... This is a sick dash. <laughs> I'm going down right after this. Yeah. That is an awesome dash. I got gotcha. you. Cool. Awesome. Cool. Got yeah, I did. PJ just so, manipulated the position of the lasers. Yeah, I go first there so the lasers shoot high. So Kay can just walk. Wait. So Kay can just walk through them. And then uh, we're gonna do a kamikaze strat here. So there's a bunch of guys, and we're just like. Eh. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll get the help. Okay. I'll get the position. Go! <laughs> yes! Yes! Go! Yes! <laughs> Make it! Yes! <laughs> that would normally take about six minutes to get through. <laughs> yeah, uh, just... Yeah, just... Insanity strats. Go! Hold up and dax. Go, Rocky! Go! You can't double dash through these, unfortunately, because anything that crushes you will stop a double dash. Mm. 
I got him. Go ahead. That's another power <laughs> Wow, jeepers. Yeah, I told you we should plan for this. Yeah, we got no bombs from any stages. Bombs are the most broken thing in the game, and there's a few bombs in the stages, but um, if you're lucky, there's a 3 in 7 chance of getting one from a sage. We got and 0 out of 4. We got 0 out of 4 for this marathon. <laughs> Someone calculate the probability of that for me. Not it. Not it. Well, it's not uh, it. Not so wait for it. Go back down. Alright, I will. Get back down. There you go. It's another really tricky dash, because you've only got about two pixels to work wow. to get through. Nice. But we did it. We found him. Um, one, two... Alright, uh, normal strats here, and then no bomb yeah. armor. Yeah. And I Rocky can wag, which is so cute! <laughs> Ooh, eat it. GG. <laughs> that boss is really hard. Sweep the floor, sweep the floor! Sweep, 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 sweep. Sweet, 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 Oh. <laughs> Bounce. And now... Alright, so we're just gonna... Tank it. <laughs> Wait, was that not me? Nope. nope. Uh, I'm not afraid of you. <laughs> Normally, really tough yeah. Normally. <laughs> Normally. <laughs> if you have a bomb, he dies before he gets to attack. Yeah, Alright, so this Black Mantle fight is supposed to be the toughest fight. He's got the two statues that shoot the fireballs at you, and he's not vulnerable until one of the statues is destroyed normally. But... I want to hit him. <laughs> oh, GG. <laughs> that fight would take about three minutes if we didn't use bombs. So was that time yeah. then? Yeah, that's that time. Oh, uh, not yet. Oh, wait, no, you start. Yeah. Polish the statue. Rocky's actually a Tanuki, and if you remember Mario 3... Okay, I'm ready. Just like that. <laughs> yeah, the statue makes you completely invincible. <laughs> cool. And that's Bucky and Rocky. I'm fine. I All the way. Put the mic up. Blindfold. Door of time. What was the time on that? Uh, well, we didn't start it until pretty far into stage. No, it wasn't that far. Enough. I think it was 10 seconds or so. It was about yeah. 10 seconds. No, it was 10 or 15 seconds. Okay. So yeah, it's probably about 23, 15 overall. All right. Yeah, given that we didn't get any bombs from the sages, it's actually <laughs> yeah, pretty good.